Hi folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. Today's video is gonna be about video editor in Windows, the free Windows video editor. Now I'm gonna be using Windows 11, but I'm sure this works fine on Windows 10. And this is really neat. It's a really easy to use free software and allows you to do cool things like this. I know, it's kind of corny, but it's still fun to do. So let me show you this. It's really easy to use and we can do all sorts of fun things. Like, and I've made one like this in the past years ago, but they changed it and updated it. So let's do one more quick little trick here. Let's see if I can jump it over to here. Ooh. I'll have both, see if they move. And then, I know, that's horrible. <laughs> Whatever, let's get into editing. Okay, so now that we are in, I've already pulled some of these out. What you're gonna do to get to this is we are going to go to your photos or you're gonna come down here. You come up here and type in video editor and the app will come up. And that is how you get to this, which is where we are right now. So we're gonna come back here to my projects and to add, we are going to just hit add. And then you're gonna go from your PC or my collection from, so you're gonna go into your PC and then you're gonna find like whatever you wanna add. So you double click it and it will show up, very simple. And then once you get it here, you can drag these down and fit them into your timeline, however you like. And so we are set to start here. Now these are just some sample clips that I got. These are, this is the 4th of July. Then this is the intro. So I'm gonna show you how I did that with the intro. Okay, let's talk about trimming these really quickly. So I've got these three, like I showed you. This is very simple. We're gonna hit trim. And then here, we're just gonna pull this back to exactly where we want it. I want it right when that right edge hits right there. We're gonna make this really short and sweet right there. And that's it. We're gonna hit done and that's trimmed. This one as well. I think I've already trimmed this pretty, make this, I want these to go boom, 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 like right in order, you know? So make this very quick, just a few seconds like that. And then we'll finish strong with some fireworks here. How I did this here, this is actually very simple as well. We're gonna go into 3D effects and I already have them set up here. So these are the three that I've already added and I can edit. So what I'm gonna do is show you how I did this. Let's start with this one here. So you will drag and drop this on. Here, let's go to this one. And once you do see this anchor, well, first you can adjust the size and everything with this of how, you, how big you want it. Down here, you will adjust how long you want it, the length. Now I set this up perfectly to end right when I close my hands there, as you can see. So I, right at the end there that's when that ends now the way i had it follow my hand is this anchor you set this anchor exactly on what you want it to follow so for example if i move this up here it'll follow that point up there so i'm gonna but i'm gonna leave it right there so it will see right now it's tracking and now it'll stay right on that point for me so whenever i move my hand it'll track on that point and that's how you do that and then i did the same thing with this side and you can adjust the size and you can you can spin it. You can do all sorts of things with it to make it go any direction you want. But as it stands here, I just wanted it straight up, very simple. And you can adjust the volume. I'm gonna turn that volume down a little on these because these are actually pretty loud right now. So I'm gonna turn that down a little. They are very loud. This one was very loud as well. And this one's way earlier, as you can see here. And I did this one the same way. You click on the anchor, you set the anchor point, to the center of your hand. You can adjust the size. So here, I'll make it a little bigger. Turn the volume down a little because it's very loud. And that's it. And then you just adjust the length of it for how long you want it to the effect to last. And that's it for making the effects. Now, if you go to the effects library, there are all sorts of things here. So here, just to be, just for the heck of it, uh, I'm gonna throw these guys Let's throw this up here. Um, let's see. I don't even know. <laughs> Should I put it here? Yeah, let's do this. Watch. I'm just going to put it right here. 
something really funky. I know this is ridiculous. I'm going to put the anchor. Let's grab the anchor point. I'm going to put the anchor right there. And this is just total silliness. So let's see. Let's see how, what it's going to look like. And there you go. So yeah, as you can see, I don't actually want that one. So I'm going to take that off of there. Just for the sake of this, I want to show you how easy that is to do. Okay, now for filters. Now this is just a something simple walking down. We're going to go to this. I want to open this clip. We're going to go to filter. So we're going to check out different filters on here. Iceberg. As you can see here, there's the original. It's pretty good. Pixel. Loved. So you can see here, you can add different filters as well. Adventure Pearl Classic. Original. Classic looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so there is a way to add your own audio. The way you do that is you come up here to Custom Audio. I've already added mine, but you'll go Add Audio File. You're going to go to whatever song you want, double click it, and it will open right here. And then once you have this, it'll show up down here and you can, you'll have to drag this over to the beginning of your video. This is your timeline. Basically, you're going to drag it all the way to the beginning and then you're going to drag this to the end as far as you can go. Now it will all fit in here because I only have it on in 23 sec or one minute, 23 seconds so far. And then to adjust the volume of that audio, you're going to go in here. You can select fade in, fade out or select your audio. So once that's done, you can hit done. Then you can listen to it. And it's nice and subtle in the back. Actually, that's still a little bit noisy, a little bit loud. So I'm going to take that down to about 12. I just want that faintly, just a very faint in the background. Just something to add a little, a little something there. So that's how you would add custom audio or you can choose theirs. But I believe if you choose theirs, I'm not sure if you get a copyright strike on YouTube. So I don't know that something that you may want to, uh, you know, check out on your own if you're going to use their audio to create your own stuff. OK, so that's how you would make your adjustments um, to your like I showed you there, your text. We went over that. You pick these, you simply write it in there. Then you decide, you know, the length. Like I said, though, you I can't figure out a way to adjust this exactly to grab it and, and move it. I don't know why it doesn't allow me to do that. And maybe if you know how, please tell me, because I cannot figure that out like a free, free roaming way to do it. Um, yeah. Struggling with that. So. That's how you do that. I showed you how to add the 3D effects. Very simple. You can go through. We went through all of that. You can anchor it, adjust the size, the motion, uh, the length of the effect, and the sound of the effect, the volume. Okay. And then filters. We went over that. You can do that. Very simple. Just click on one and it changes your everything to the video. Let's go back to original. Okay, and then motion, you can set it and it will zoom in and out and it shows you exactly where it's going to go. Now, again, I don't, they don't give you a lot of freedom here to actually decide like where this is and how much you want it to go. Uh, most software does allow you to do that. This one does not. So as you can see, they're slowly zooming. It's a very subtle zoom. You can see the background kind of moving. Adds a little bit to it. That's kind of cool. And you know what? I think I might leave that on there just because it adds a little bit. So hit done. And that'll add a little bit of extra to it. Uh, pretty neat. So those are just some basic tricks you can do here. And then when you do go to export this finished video, 1080p is gonna be the highest options I found here. You can en enable your hardware accelerating, which is nice, but I don't see any 4K options. So. That is one of the drawbacks to this. Now, I still haven't figured out how to put transitions in, so I am still looking for that. Give me a second on that. OK, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. And again, this is a free software that's very fun to play with. It's great for learning kind of an introduction to video editing. Or if you 
have limited resources, limited funds, and you have a computer, it's you could just start editing and you could actually upload it to YouTube. And these little tricks here, this, yeah, it's silly, but it is fun. And it's fun for me and it's fun for kids. <laughs> so anyways, whatever. I thought this was a pretty fun video to make and I hope, hope it's helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, subscribe and thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.